After a couple months of using the latest version of Generic Trader, I want to do a quick review of my experiences and the features that I like the most about the platform. And uh, well, technically, I've been using Generic Trader for more than two months because I started with the older platform back when I started trading futures in uh, 2017, which actually leads me to the first thing that I, I want to talk about, you know, this Generic Trader platform is how easy it is to get started with using the platform right away, right? So when I was overseas and I wanted to open an account to start trading futures, but I was having a lot of issues with opening accounts with the regular brokers. And I stumbled across Generic Trader and they allowed me to open an account with, under my current situations, you know, with an account that's still regulated and all that stuff, where I was having issues and hurdles with opening an account with my situations being, you know, in another, living in another country. Generic Trader was a solution that worked for me in that country and allowed me to open a legit futures account so that I can start trading futures, right? So if you're not like in the U.S. or, or Canada or, you know, in, in one of the major or main countries to where you wouldn't have access to the regular brokers or the most common brokers, Generic Trader may be a solution for you. All you have to do is just reach out to their, their customer service and ask them if you can open an account to start trading futures with Generic Trader, right? So as soon as you got your account set up and you have it funded and you have your funds are in your account and they have been made available to trade, usually that takes like once you fund your account, after they receive the funds, it may take, you know, three to five business days for your funds to actually clear and be made available to trade. So once all of that is done and you're ready to go, all you got to do is start trading, right? So like with other trading platforms, maybe you will have to, you know, connect the data trading service like CQG or Rhythmic or TT or Teton, something like that. You don't have to worry about that with Generic Trader. That's another thing that I like. As soon as your account is open and your funds are available to trade, you can just start placing trades. Now with the Generic Trader platform, so right here I have Generic Trader open up on the PC, but it's also available on Mac and any mobile device where you can download it from the Apple store or from the Google play store. And then, you know, if you have multiple devices, anything that you do on one device will automatically be synchronized to other devices. So for example, you know, if you place a trade, all of those trades are so up on any other device that you open the platform up on or with these workspaces, I have this workspace up here, all the workspaces are saved in the cloud. So if you save it here, the same workspace, you see, I have these multiple workspaces here. All of these workspaces are synchronized across all the platforms. So now that we're in the platform, another thing that I like about it is that it's highly customizable. You can move the windows around, or these are called widgets. You can move them around to look however you want it to look. So this is one version. So if I go back here into this menu, and then let's just say I open up a new win a new workspace, I have the option of going free form. This is what I have in uh, this workspace here is was set up under free free form and then i also have this auto arrange workspace so if i open up this one click on get started if i open up one here so once i start just open up that and once i start trying to move this around you see the shadow behind it what this does is if i open up another one let me open up the charts you see it uh, automatically i don't need to do that it automatically keep everything organized anytime i move anything around it auto snap in place so that i don't have to worry about resizing windows a whole lot and trying to get everything to look nice and neat now between the two i personally like the free form because sometimes you can have issues like with, in this current version, you can have issues like with trying to maximize the window when it's in this auto arrange format. It's difficult to maximize windows. So it's kind of buggy for right now. They're still working on the platform. They're gonna, they're making improvements all the time. So I'm sure eventually that won't be like the issue anymore. But for right now, I like the freeform version. So let me open that other one back up and see in the freeform version, yeah, it doesn't auto snap in place, but I'm able to get the full benefits of the window sizing here. And then I can minimize if I want to without any issues. Put that back in place using this menu up here of my open widgets. 
And another way that you can customize the platform is you can go in here, back into the menu, go to settings, and go to display. And you have different type, two different themes for now. You have the default theme, and you also have the classic theme. So the classic theme is kind of similar to the older version. Here's the older version. And now here's the classic theme. You can see the similarities, but this is a little bit more advanced than what the older, how the older version looked. So me personally, I like the, the darker default version. So let me go back to that. But you have different options that you can choose based on how you want the platform to look that works best for you. So along with being customizable, I love that everything is accessible from within the platform. Now, usually, so for instance, you are able to deposit funds and withdraw funds from within the platform. You can make changes to your account, like with setting your subscriptions from within the platform. You can choose whatever subscription that you want from there. And of course, you can do things like change your password. And then you have this different, these different platform types. So if I click on platform types, there are two platform types. There's the Go, which is just a quick, simple version. But you have limited features and capabilities within the Go version. And like the version I'm using right now is the pro version, which gives you full access to all the features of the platform. And I have other videos that's going, that goes into more details about all of this stuff. So just check the playlist under my channel for generic trader. And I go into a lot more detail in those videos inside of that playlist. And another useful thing is you have that you are able to contact them. If you ever run into any issues, you can click on this contact link here and this window will pop up give you all of their contact details. You can call them, you can email them. They got a lot of different ways for you to contact them. They even have a contact form here at the bottom. I've used this contact form before for an issue that I ran into or just something that I wanted more details about. And they responded to me within the same day. So you, it's easy to contact them and they have, you know, really quick and responsive customer service. They even have this help feature over here that you can use. You can send them a message through this help feature. So my personal experience with this platform over the last couple of months, since I've been using the, the latest version is I've been mostly trading event contracts. This is one of the things that I like about it because, you know, I opened the, the account and I just right away, I was able to trade event contracts. I didn't have to, you know, open a new account or get special access to be able to open these event contracts. And the way that they have it laid out here, I like this format. It's in a way that it allows me to fully understand what event contracts are and how they work. And then I can easily trade it from this event contracts window. In addition to that, you have, you can trade all other forms of futures contracts. You can trade just the regular micros and the minis that also includes cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and ETH. And you can also trade options. Now on the options side, they're still working on like put in an actual options chain inside of the platform. But for now you can kind of create your own options chain by using the trading matrix to pretty much build your own op options chain. And then they have a widget for spread trading. You just click on that and you can place up your, you can set up your spread trades to do whatever your spread trading thing that you like to do right in there. I don't do trade uh, spread trading. So I don't, don't have a lot of information on that, but you do have it available if that's, if that's what you're into. And then of course you have all your regular features that you would have inside of any other trading platform. Of course, you got a chart where you can have, you can place indicators on the chart. You can trade on the chart. And then of course, with all that, you have the ability to manage and see your orders that you place with the order book and the fields widget that are also of course available in this widget menu here, right? You also have access to, of course, your account detail where you can see all the information about your personal account, how much, how much money you have available, how much margin you have left to trade with, and the details about any open positions that you have, like the, the, the current P&L for your open positions. Plus, you can get access your statements right from within the platform. And one last thing, you can also get information about the, what you plan to trade right from within the platform. You don't have to go to one of these external websites to see what your margin requirements are and and with the, the expiration date and all that stuff, just click on this menu over here to the far left of the trading matrix. And you'll just go to symbol info and you can see all the details about that symbol there. So that's just a quick review of my experience so far with this newer version of generic trader. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. With all that being said, I hope you found this helpful and until next time, trade it easy.